and I'm revoking the use of uh, asphalt coating in all my jobs henceforth. I was going to concede using it, but there is no need. As you can see, you can be on any speed. It's very beautiful. There is no difference as such between it and asphalt finish. And there are a lot of advantages. All right, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Like we said, we remain the best in terms of giving you accurate and what you should know at the appropriate point in time. Recall that recently about 45 new ministers were sworn in, but currently two ministers are at work. The minister of FCT is currently working, and he said it that he did ground running and he has hit the ground running. And secondly is the Minister of Work, Engineer Dave Mwezi Omahe of the Boeing State, the former governor of the Boeing State. He just hit the ground running and he has been doing well. I think that's the reason why he was rewarded with this minister, even though he's a senator. Now he's saying that federal government should make use of technology to carry out any construction in Nigeria. That is because they don't make use of uh, technology that is why sometimes after construction things will collapse and the road with the dilapidate and all those things so you need to watch this video and hear the exclusive interview when he was telling the federal government please let us make use of something strong to provide quality things for nigerians i think this minister really mean good for nigerians i think he really mean good for nigerians like if we should be given that opportunity to use technology and then improve on the road construction and every other construction in nigeria i think things will go well in nigeria and this will last it's not every now and then you say um the road awarded from this is a place so place with uh, some billions of dollars or something like that and after one month you say oh we need to maintain the road again with some billions of naira I think that is not what we should be hearing every now and then. Watch this video and don't forget to like, comment, and share. Thank you very much. On Tuesday, uh, and he said that there will be no contract award for road construction without concrete layout. Sarah Yeko reports. One of the projects that has gotten the attention of the new Minister of Works, Dave Umayi, is the Apapa Uro Shoki Ojota Expressway commending the contractors for the durable rigid pavement construction done at a Papa Wharf Road. The minister insists all projects supervised under him will now be done with concrete. The carriage is three lane, and then we have the service lane that is two lane, making all together five lane. And uh, we are glad to have you here, sir. Now you can see everywhere is open up. It used to be traffic all the way, and of course, the Russians know this. And they are very, very thankful to the federal government for opening up this particular road. And I'm revoking the use of uh, asphalt coating in all my jobs henceforth. I was going to concede using it, but there is no need. As you can see, you can be on any speed. It's very beautiful. There is no difference as such between it and asphalt finish. And there are a lot of advantages. The roads constructed in the early 50s and 60s are still subsisting because the quality of bitmen was good. But now they will tell you we are enhancing the quality of the bitmen. What are you enhancing? Most roads in this country do not last up to five years. And this is what we want to arrest. This road, beautifully constructed, is going to last more than 50 years. The minister, however, expressed the satisfaction with heaps of refuse along project alignment from Apapa Oshodi Ojota Uroshuki exits to the ports. He is seeking the help of Governor Bajide Sonwolu to tackle the issue of waste management. He urged his engineers to encourage users of open spaces under the bridges to clean and maintain them. While inspecting project sites in Lagos Open States, the minister said it will introduce night construction to fast track Nigeria's highway projects in line with global practices. At the time of lifting the bridge, no uh, vehicle will be on top of it. And that's why it's inconveniencing for negotiations. So we are saying from 12 a.m you can lift the bridge when traffic is low and we block traffic from you know, using it. But we have to advertise and let people know that this is what you're doing so that within that period they will not you know, uh, come to, uh, close to that place. You know, in construction, uh, what we rate, the way we're trained, when you are working, you must make sure that you inflict you know, minimum inconveniences. 
The minister, who is a civil engineer, said the government is going to use consultants to concession and toll all federal highways in the six geopolitical zones of Nigeria. Sarah Ayeku, TVC News, Lagos.